Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. And this one we'll be looking at the positively overwhelming um, 50 point feat and the Legion HQ orientation alert on the Elite version. So this uh, feat in terms of group setup, couple DPS, healer, and a tank is fine. Just makes the fight go by faster. Um, you could really have a troll, it doesn't really matter. What you want to watch out for is one of the phases where you get um, transformed into the colors right here. So I'm going to walk up to Junior. We're going to explode and proc back. Then I'm going to run away. Uh, Junior's going to run back to the uh, back uh, terminals there to turn the cog to clear his uh, positive charge, basically. Now, it's not necessary for the feet to, to clear that positive charge, but it's something uh, in good practice because, say, for whatever reason, if he got close to me or if I got knocked away uh, and CC'd and I had to accidentally res someone or he got close to me again, it would, it would proc again and ruin the feet. So the thing is, you have to proc once each phase. So if you are positively charged and you hit again, then you'll lose the feat. Uh, you can only do it once per phase. So that's why it's best practice just to have the other person go back, clear, go back to the cog, clear his positive charge, and then continue. The red players, doesn't matter what they do, um, it just, they can just leave themselves alone. In terms of the mechanics for this fight, uh, really, there's only a couple things you have to watch out for. Uh, as a tank, really, there's not too much. There's a lot of CC in this fight. That's why I've taken a second combo because I'm getting knocked out of a uh, thermochemical quite often. But I mean, it's like an earth tank, ice tank. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty much. I mean, this whole elite fight uh, as a tank is a as a cakewalk. Uh, for the group, there's a couple things that they're mind, mindful of. The main thing is Evil Cosmic Boy's primary attack, uh, which is the gray ball that he will fire towards the group. Um, you'll see him a few times. It's the same thing if you've been to like if you've done the raid with Trigon It's the same concept. He, he turns around to the face of the group does the hand blaster animation uh, Doing solar flame fires the gray ball out which is kind of similar to these spheres that launches at you and uh, Does massive damage uh, if you're blocking you're fine. You can also dodge roll it. You're fine uh, Depending on your stats you might die if you block, but I think I've seen people block through it. Uh, other than that, it's really just watching out for the, um, well, you can't really do anything about it, but you're going to get encased. So say the healer got encased, uh, that's just be mindful that your healer is bald uh, and can break out. As of this moment, I'm not entirely sure if you can break the player out early. I, I think it's just a, it's what they call like a skill check where you just have to mash your buttons uh, in that form to break out a little bit faster. So I, I don't think there's a way that uh, we can break them out internally or externally, sorry. Uh, other than that, the main mechanic is just uh, when he has his metal shield up, uh, there's these um, basically base items around the around the edges of the room that you pick up and throw at him. Uh, he's, when you pick them up, he's just going to be massive CC on you, so just make sure that uh, uh, you're running out like a break a trinket or, or even probably his atomic or something like Proton Remedy. And, or sorry, the, um, the breakout instead of Proton Remedy. But other than that, it's really just a simple fight. It's going to happen. Uh, the pot, like each time each phase the player gets charged, they just run up, touch each other, then go, and then the, one of them or both of them can go back and clear the cog terminals. There's two of them back there at the at the entrance. It's the same thing, positive tracks. I'm red this time. You just saw in the background that uh, Gumball uh, and Mox just hit each other, and they're going to the separate terminals to clear the cog. And that's it. So, I mean, it's it's a, a confusing feat when you read it how it's done. But it's really simple in practice, and that's all it is. It's just the main point is making sure you only touch once. So if you have any other questions or uh, other feats you want to see, just leave them in the comment section. Take care, guys.